So this is a project we worked on um, with a couple people that are in the room here, uh, Tom Schenk and, uh, and Kevin over there. So it's got to go quickly. Well, it's a kind of a, um, uh, an involved project, but uh, it, it started out looking at the uh, E. coli uh, levels in, uh, in Chicago beaches. Uh, and here's a, a, an image of the, the website where the, the predictions are. And <coughs> notice that sometimes there, there's a restriction. They uh, set that restriction if it's above uh, 235. Uh, that uh, has to do with the, um, the levels of, of E. coli that are there. So they warn. Sometimes uh, they're correct in the warning, sometimes incorrect. And these are the results from uh, 2015 for the 20 beaches in Chicago. And they're missing a lot, oops, missing a lot of the warnings. So their system of uh, monitoring, you see the measured in black and the predicted, and a lot of it is, is these quick spikes, and it's very difficult to predict that. You can't, certainly can't use yesterday's E. coli to predict today's, but that's really what they're stuck with because today's reading won't get back from the lab until 24 hours away. And um, so this is uh, looking at the current model, and uh, I don't want to spend too much time because I only have two minutes of it talking about the model um, and how we did it. Um, using random force and gradient boosting, and you can look that up <laughs> to know more about it. But we ended up doing an um, ensemble of both of those methods. So at first I wanted to see which one worked better, and then ended up using them both. Um, sort of comparing them just to looking at Montrose uh, data and seeing uh, uh, w with the uh, the models that we built, uh, leaving one year out and building, uh, building nine different models, um, what was the spread in those predictions. And in the end, oh, that's awful. It did not turn out the way it should have on that slide, but <laughs> that was trying to explain how it was all uh, combining the ensemble of ensembles. Um, but we'll just cut to the, uh, the end uh, result. Um, you could see that it does better than the current model, it just uh, l based on last year's 2015. But it could probably do better. Um, I'll skip ahead. Uh, looking at the beaches that have very few exceedances and the ones that have many exceedances. And, uh, and we could add more things into the model. Um, one thing is the size of the beach. You, you, um, the, some of the things that, that got left out, also noticing it where the angle of the, the shoreline is, that wasn't in the model, so things can be improved still. But it was encouraging that we did do better than what, what they had um, as their results from 2015. But we'll see how 2016 goes. That's the real test. Anyway, thank you. Thank you.